According to Mook Squad's report, Grayspace entities have become active again recently, causing the area around the Abyss Current to lose stability quickly. We haven't confirmed the causes of these changes, but this is definitely of great urgency. With all due respect, Conroe and I are very concerned about the changes in the Abyss Current. We also tried to help improve the dimensional stability of the surrounding areas through a timestamp. However, it came to our attention that the space-time fluctuation there was aligned with the Abyss Current. To put it another way, those areas may become Abyss Currents at any time, and this expansion will continue. If the Abyss Current can't be pacified completely, the entire underwater world would become part of a massive Abyss Current one day in the worst scenario. Before the situation gets worse, we must find a way to control the Abyss Current once and for all. However... Leave the job of stabilizing the space-time around the Abyss Current to us, Fiona. We have developed a device capable of stabilizing space-time using the technology provided by District 9. We hope this can hinder the Abyss Current's expansion for some time. Dr. Rubilia has some unique opinions on how to close the Abyss Current. Miss Lon, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Lyra, the Special Counsel of District 7. I'm here to assist with the Underwater Abyss Current. The pleasure is mine, Miss Lyra. And this is... My name is Rubilia. Pleased to meet you, Miss Lan. Dr. Rubilia is an expert in gray space entities and has made great achievements in many fields. It seems the doctor has had some unusual experiences in the past. Indeed. I had some very unusual experiences in the past, which have given me a better understanding of gray space entities. The intelligence I have acquired is of such great importance that how I exist matters little. I can't deny that, but the doctor's words are trustworthy. And I believe the following information provided by the doctor can testify to her position. We have developed some protective gear to conceal the doctor's breath. This allows her to move freely within a certain range without being detected by gray space entities. You have nothing to worry about. Okay, let's hear what the doctor has to say. I was told that Miss Lan and your party broke through the barrier into Vera through a device called the Timestamp. Yes. A timestamp can adjust space-time fluctuations, either distorting it further or restoring its original form. We closed the Abyss Current at Somerset Isle by correcting the order of the space-time using a timestamp. I see. Is the timestamp probably related to the Black Stone in any way? Their materials seem very similar. The Doctor is referring to the Black Stones widely distributed in the Confounding Abyss, which is an expansive underground space where the law of materials is way beyond our knowledge. Evidence suggests that it was the ruins of some alien civilization. Unfortunately, we don't know much about the ruins or the Black Stones. The timestamp sounds very similar to these Black Stones. It's safe to presume that Domain 9 also has access to Black Stones, and perhaps a better understanding of this material. Black Stones? Let me think. The Doctor must be talking about the Black Jade, which can affect the stability of space-time. We made the time stamp out of it to make better use of it. The Black Jade is indeed a product of another civilization. 
During our confrontation with Brayspace entities, we gradually gained a better understanding of the civilization, but our knowledge is still limited. If more information could be obtained on that intelligent civilization, we would definitely have a better chance against Grayspace entities. And vice versa. It was exactly why we ventured out into the outside world this time. Space-time was disturbed by this abyss current, which presented us with an opportunity. So we opened a path with a timestamp and followed those Grayspace entities into Vera. What Miss Lan just said seems relevant to some of the shattered leads in my head. I'm comfortable making some guesses. The Abyssin can exert influence on the space-time barrier of Domain 9 through its field ability. It can call more Grayspace entities via the Abyss current. This is consistent with the information I've acquired from the Hive Consciousness, which gives me reason to believe that it is responsible for the Abyss current. Blackstones have a similar effect. That's why the Abyss current at Somerset Isle could be closed with a timestamp. But the situation underwater is quite different. I'm afraid the Abyss Current is not the only thing that interferes with that sector. I suspect that the space-time there may have always been unstable, and Grey Space Entities are using this to their advantage. The time stamp alone can't change the space-time shaped by these two forces. So another cause of this space-time's instability becomes a key breakthrough point for us. There's another force that is affecting space-time? What could it be? I'm not sure. It could be a hidden Abyssant undiscovered Blackstone ruins, or something completely beyond our knowledge. Obviously, the potential risk is unpredictable, but we don't have a safer choice here. How exactly does the Doctor plan to identify this cause? I will try to make an impact on the entire area by leading the energy inside the Abyss Current with the abilities of Grayspace Entities. If my conjecture is correct, this cause, affected by the flow of energy, would produce an abnormal space-time fluctuation. Miss Lyra will have gear set up to detect its location. Okay, prepare for departure. I can feel a surge of energy inside the Abyss Current, and the Hive Mother has grown more frantic, running out of patience with the current situation. It's anxiously waiting for the offspring to come to its rescue via the Abyss Current. We don't have much time. Are you ready? Once the jammer is removed, those gray space entities will be aware of my presence immediately. We will keep you safe. Okay, let's begin. Hmm. Thank <laughs> you. 
Billia, how do you feel now? Uh, I'm okay. Don't worry. It worked. Next we wait to hear from Miss Lyra.
Lyra, we've arrived at the entrance to the target location. It appears to be an abnormal space that reminds me of the confounding abyss. Roger that. Go ahead and explore the surrounding area. The tech department is keeping a close eye on you. Is it really the Blackstone Ruins? I didn't receive any relevant reports. This is indeed a result of that space-time fluctuation. If these ruins are similar in nature to the confounding abyss, we must be extra careful. A small mistake could lead to a replay of the tragic past. Moreover, the extent of the space-time fluctuation's impact on the Grand Sea is not yet clear. Inspections and evaluations must be carried out immediately to reveal and eliminate hidden dangers. Understood. We got this. I believe our timestamp could help with the Blackstone Ruins. Let me give it a try. Hello? Can you hear me? The communication signal was compromised for unknown reasons just now. You were on and off. How is everything? Ms. Lan has unlocked the Blackstone Ruins using a timestamp. We are going to investigate. The signal fluctuation might be a result of its interference, which means you've successfully activated the entrance to the ruins. Once inside the ruins, you might lose contact with us. Be very careful. Okay, we'll bear that in mind. Blackstone Ruins. Another force that affects space-time stability. Let's uncover the mystery!